Good morning. I'm Adrian Goldman, principal of Clarksville High School, and I would like to welcome everyone to our Class of 2023 Awards Program. Yeah. We have many community partners joining us today to honor our seniors with scholarships and other awards. I would like to thank you, the community members, for taking time to join us and for the hours we know you put in prior to this event, scrutinizing over applications and making the tough decisions on which senior would receive each award. I would also like to thank our CCSC school board members and administrators who are here today for their continued support of this and all the Clarksville High School programs. We are so excited to be able to honor you guys today, class of 2023, with scholarships and awards. I do have one housekeeping item before we get started. Seniors, when you are presented with an award, we would ask that you step over to the background. Mr. Shaw is down front, and he will snap a picture with you and the community member giving the award. So please stay on stage, walk down there, and we'll get your picture. At this time, I would like to welcome Mrs. Christine Allred, Director of Counseling and the organizer of this wonderful event, to stage, and she will get us started. Thank you. So the first scholarship uh, recipient will be from the James Holt Trust and Masonic Lodge Number no. 40 scholarship. And then as um, he is finished, you are the second person in line can just kind of come up and, and we'll just kind of go through the process. Thank you. Good morning. I'm Jerry Rapp with the James Hill Charitable Foundation and Clark Masonic Lodge No. 40, also a 1981 graduate of Clarksville High School, so it's always good to be back. Uh, first off, congratulations to all the seniors, uh, class of 2023, congratulations on getting here. Each year we give away 17 $10,000 scholarships and we spread those among the high schools in Clark County. There's an application process, and then those applicants are, are sent to us, they're finalists from each school, and then it's our privilege to interview each of these. And from there, we pick the recipients. We're looking for students that are active in and out of the classroom, just all, all around, well-rounded individuals. So the recipients, there's two that I'm presenting today. The first is Sky Howie. Caleb Cummings. foundation I'd like to say congratulations to the Clarksville High School graduating class of 2023. The Community Foundation was created 32 years ago through a very generous matching grant from the Lilly Endowment and is a tax-exempt public charity primarily serving residents in Clark and Floyd County and holds over 300 funds of which over 95 are scholarship funds which were created by individuals, families, businesses, and nonprofit organizations in the community. We are a partner and trusted resource for philanthropy in our community, providing stewardship of charitable intent, so the impact of that generosity will last for generations. Through our scholarship program each year, we work with over 25 high schools throughout 10 different counties in Southern Indiana. The Community Foundation manages over $134 million in charitable assets and distributes over $6 million back into the community each year, of which over 800,000 is in scholarship awards. I'm pleased to be here this morning to present the Lilly Endowment Community Scholarship. The Lilly Endowment is an Indianapolis-based private philanthropic foundation that was created in 1937. Today, the Lilly Endowment is one of our nation's largest foundations. 
keeping with the wishes of his three founders, the Lilly Endowment exists to support the causes of religion, education, and community development, with a special emphasis is afforded to projects that benefit youth and the leadership, education, and financial self-sufficiency of the nonprofit charitable sector. The Lilly Endowment's goal through the scholarship program is to increase the level of edu educational attainment in Indiana and increase awareness of the potential of Indiana's community foundations to improve the quality of life of the state's residents. Each year, the Community Foundation of Southern Indiana awards four Lilly scholarships, two in Clark County and two in Floyd County. This is a four-year full tuition scholarship to any public or private college or university in the state of Indiana. In addition, the recipient receives a stipend each year that, that helps support uh, the cost of required books and equipment. This morning, I am pleased to present the Lilly Endowment Community Scholarship to Ms. Alyssa Leeser. graduate of Clarksville High School, and he died in 2017 at age 53, following a brief but intense battle with a deadly form of brain tumor known as glioblastoma. Some of Todd's favorite memories occurred right here at Clarksville High School, where he was a good student, he participated in many extracurricular activities and intramural sports, and he made many lifelong friends. One subject where Todd really excelled was his German language class, which he enrolled in during his freshman year. Later that year, he got to travel to Germany as part of a class trip. That trip sparked a lifelong interest in travel and history, particularly World War II history, and he continued to study German all through high school. Todd went on to study German in college at IU Bloomington, where he graduated with degrees in computer science and Germanic studies. Todd had a successful career as a computer programmer. He was a devoted husband, father, and friend. He also had the opportunity to travel internationally several more times, including a return trip to Germany where he witnessed the removal of the Berlin Wall. When my two sons and I created this scholarship, we wanted to honor Todd's memory by recognizing an outstanding foreign language student at the high school he loved so much. Speaking a foreign language is important, and it can help you in life. From my own experience, I can tell you that I never thought I'd use the French I learned in high school many years ago. But recently, out of the blue, my company was bought by a Canadian company headquartered in Montreal, Quebec, which has a large multinational population. Now I have many new, very young colleagues who don't speak English as their primary language. Corporate emails are printed in English and French. Meetings are conducted in English and French. I remarked to one of my new co-workers, so is English your second language? And she replied, no. Actually, English is my fifth language. Learning a foreign language can help you compete for a job, and it may even be a requirement for a job. I did a quick check of my company's current job postings before coming here today, and over 20% of the jobs listed either require or suggest that applicants speak a foreign language. If Todd were here today, he would tell you, if you studied a foreign language in high school, good for you. If you have the opportunity to learn a foreign language in the future, you should do it. And if you ever get the chance to travel to a foreign country, you should grab it. I'm very pleased to announce the recipient of this year's award is Ethan Neal. Yeah.
Good morning. My name is Amber Barnacle, and I'm with the Dual Credit Office at Ivy Tech Community College. Clarksville High School has strategically aligned resources with Ivy Tech in order to provide high school students with dual credit offerings. As a result, I would like to recognize those who are on track to meet the requirements and earn a college completion at the end of this school year. 19 students will be earning the Indiana College Corps Technical Certificate and 16 of those students will also be earning the Associates of General Studies degree. These achievements will be documented on an Ivy Tech transcript and official diplomas will be mailed to them in the upcoming weeks. A quick summary of those achievements. The Indiana College Corps Technical Certificate consists of a minimum of 30 college credit hours earned in six general education categories. This is the first and most important half of the Associates in General Studies degree. It's equivalent to one year's worth of college education and has an estimated value of $20,000 in college tuition. The Associates in General Studies degree is a solid core of general education courses taken in a variety of subjects and equaling at least 60 college credit hours. These courses are largely transferable to four-year institutions as required coursework towards a bachelor's degree. This degree has an estimated value of $40,000 in college tuition. Before announcing today's honorees, I would like to congratulate all dual credit students. By taking free Ivy Tech dual credit classes while in high school, you have not only earned college credit for your future, but you have saved money along the way. Now back to our honorees. As I read your name, please come forward. Earning the Indiana College Corps Technical Certificate are Christy Massengill, Casey Walls, and Presley Yates. College Corps Technical Certificate and the Associates of General Studies degree are Caleb Cummings, Monica Franklin, Alexia Gibson, Sky Howie. Xander Cobb, <laughs> Alyssa Leeser, <laughs> Amanda Martin, Ethan Neal, Caden Owens, Harvey Page Barnett, Gabrielle Parrish, Kane Shelton, Saul Tatum, Jaden Taylor, Lucas.
Lucy Vaughn. And Emma Windsor. Congratulations on such great accomplishments and best of luck to all graduates. Good morning. My name is Nikki Billington, and I am here to present the Mr. B's Memorial Scholarship in honor of my late husband, Mr. Dan Billington, who lost his battle with pancreatic cancer last spring. Mr. B was a CHS theater teacher and director, as well as the voice of the generals for 20 years. He was so proud to be a general and loved being part of the Clarksville High School school community. While his first love was theater, a close second was his love for Clarksville sports. You regularly could hear Dan, his loud voice booming, announcing varsity athletic events on Friday evenings, or leaving Liam and I at home to travel away to support our athletic teams. Therefore, this year, the selection committee for Mr. B's Memorial Scholarship chose to go with a student athlete who, who exemplifies all that Mr. B would expect of a general. The student is disciplined, dedicated to being the best, a strong leader among peers, and kind to others. It is great, with great pleasure that I get to award this $1,000 Mr. B Memorial Scholarship to Caleb Cummings. Yeah. And a special congratulations to the 2023 graduates, as many of you I have had opportunity to watch as fifth graders move up. I'm very proud of each and every one of you. Good morning and congratulations class of 2023. As most of you already know, my name is Dr. Bennett, I am your superintendent. However, for the purposes of this presentation, I'm here along with my granddaughter, Addison Bennett, on behalf of the Tony Bennett Memorial Foundation. Every year, I thought it'd get easier. The foundation was founded in 2017 in memory of my late son and Addie's dad, Tony, a 2005 graduate of New Albany High School. Tony was a high-ranking honor student, captain on the Bulldog varsity basketball team, and overall very popular student and friend among his peers and teachers. He was even voted homecoming king his senior year, a fun fact in which I am certain he wouldn't want me sharing with you, but I do so as a testament to how well he was liked and respected by his classmates. After graduation, Tony attended Indiana University where he earned a degree in finance and then started his own business shortly thereafter. He got married and had a beautiful daughter. So one could say that overall, life was very good for Tony. Fast forward to October 27th, 2016, when our family received what at that time we thought was the most devastating news imaginable. Our son, our vibrant, happy-go-lucky son, decided to leave us by taking his own life at the tender age of 30. In the wake of that event, our family decided to try and make something positive out of the tragedy. So we decided to start a foundation in Tony's honor. The Tony Bennett Memorial Foundation has three primary initiatives. First, we provide financial assistance to families who survive the death of a loved one by suicide. 
We provide resources for such things as funeral expenses, grief counseling, and other needs specific to each family. Secondly, we support suicide prevention and awareness activities and programs in our community and schools. And finally, our third initiative and the reason for this award is that our foundation awards scholarships to graduating seniors at several area high schools. Our goal is to eventually offer this award at every high school in Southern Indiana. Currently, we are in 14 high schools with Clarksville High School being one of them. We focus our scholarships on supporting students who have overcome all types of adversities, such as the loss of a loved one to suicide, significant injuries or disabilities, or other life-altering events. My shameless plug here. To find out more about the work of our foundation, you can, you can find us on Facebook at the Tony Bennett Memorial Foundation or on a website, trbmemorialfoundation.org. This year, Clarksville High School provided several quality and well-deserving applicants, and our foundation applauds each of you for your candor and courage in describing your own adversity and your journey through it. While our foundation board typically awards one foundation scholarship at each school valued at $1,000, we decided that this year was necessary to award three for Clarksville High School, each of those valuing at $1,000. Hi, my name is Addie, as you heard. Today, it is our honor to present the 2023 Tony Bennett Memorial Foundation Scholarships to Harvey Barnett, Monica Franklin, and Morgan Capps. Thank you and best wishes for a bright future. Hi, good morning. My name is Kelly Titus Glover and I'm the Vice President of Clarksville Middle School PTO. I see a lot of Clarksville Middle School alumni. Hello. So the craziest thing about middle school is that you come in still a baby, but then you leave the young adult you are starting to become. Middle school is also the time you begin to see the world for what it is, and that life can be hard sometimes, and that it's definitely not fair. So what defines you in these years is how you respond to this new view of life. Our 2023 scholarship recipient is one who has chosen hard work, a positive attitude, and a great sense of humor to get through the years, no matter what life has offered. This determination and positive attitude will carry you through not only your path after high school, but all through life. But let's be real. We all know that life doesn't get much harder than those middle school years. Well, actually until you become a middle school parent, then it's harder. But it's with much love and support that I present the 2023 CMS PTO Scholarship to Eric Ramirez. the entire class the best of luck and don't think you guys won't show up on our Facebook page today all of you award recipients look for that later love you guys
Good morning, I'm Brian Allred and I'm a member of the City of Jeffersonville, Clark County, Martin Luther King Hol uh, Holiday Scholarship Committee. Um, Ms. Janice LaBelle is our chair and she was unable to make it today and she sends her regrets and she wishes she would able, was able to be here. So uh, I'm going to present today for our committee and we are pleased to do so. The Martin Luther King Scholarship is one for anyone in Clark County and it is awarded based on academic record, involvement in leadership activities, volunteerism, participation in school, letters of recommendation, and community activities. Um, as well as that, there's also an essay, a 500 to 700 word essay, that is to be written to briefly describe how an experience made a visible, tangible difference in the lives of the applicant or others in the community, and they also are asked to describe what happened in their life or in the life of the family as a result of that volunteer experience. This year we were able to hand out five $500 scholarships. Two of the recipients, I'm proud to say, are from Clarksville High School this year. Those recipients are Alyssa Leeser and Gabrielle Parrish. Yeah. Woo. Good morning. My name is Lisa Hall, and I'm happy to be here on behalf of the women of the Jeffersonville chapter of Tri Capital Sorority, an organization with a strong history in Clark County that dates back 110 years. Tri Kappa is a philanthropic organization with chapters throughout the Hoosier State, and our members are united in supporting charity, culture, and education in our communities. We work hard, to, hard all year to raise funds with a significant portion of our proceeds going to promote education by awarding college scholarships to accomplished and deserving high school seniors in Clark County. Each year, Alpha Kappa Chapter of Tri Kappa awards $1,000 in scholarships to a graduating senior from each of three high schools in Clark County, Jeffersonville, Providence, and Clarksville. Today, it is my privilege to award the $100 Alpha Kappa Chapter Tri Kappa Scholarship to Presley Yates. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Uh, today I stand before you with the great honor as we gather to present the Sergeant James Daniel Faulkner Memorial Scholarship. Sergeant James Daniel Faulkner, a distinguished graduate of Clarksville High School's class of 1999, holds a special place in our hearts. Not only was he an exceptional student, but he also excelled in track and cross country, showcasing his remarkable talents and dedication. In the fall of 2000, Dan made the courageous decision to join the United States Army. Deployed to Iraq in March of 2004, he served valiantly as a member of the 1st Cavalry Division. Tasked with various peacekeeping responsibilities in Baghdad, his unit took on the vital mission of delivering essential educational supplies to schools in the area. Tragically, on September 8, 2004, my uncle fell victim to a roadside bomb during a mission in Baghdad. Although I never had the opportunity to meet him, his spirit lives on through his enduring legacy. The compassion and kindness he embodied have reached me, leaving an indelible mark on my life. As we gather here today, we recognize that dance character has become an integral part of Clarksville High School's history, shaping the identity of our institution and its students. 
Through his bravery and sacrifice, we're able to stand here today, and it's with the utmost honor and pleasure that we present this distinguished award. The recipient of this year's scholarship epitomizes the very traits that Dan held dear. Hard work, empathy, and unwavering determination. This year, it gives me great pride to announce that we're presenting two scholarships, each worth $1,000, to deserving classmates of mine who exemplify the spirit of Sergeant James Daniel Faulkner. This year's recipients include Emma Windsor, and Caleb Cummings. Yeah. I'm here to uh, represent the Yellow Ribbon Support Center out of Cincinnati, Ohio. Their mission is to support the troops serving in harm's way, to honor and remember those who did not make it home. And they do this through sending care packages to soldiers that are deployed. They also award scholarships in the name of the fallen heroes, and they educate and raise awareness of our troops and the job that they do. This year, the Yellow Ribbon Support Center is proud to present a $500 scholarship to Mr. Ethan Neal. My name is Donna Baird and I am president of the class of 1982. Class of 1982 graduated 41 years ago and sometimes it seems like just like yesterday. We've made significant contributions to our community through the years and as adults have realized that success is measured in many ways. Our class has lawyers and doctors, business leaders, military personnel, nurses and educators, skilled trade workers and artists, and hospitality workers, and we even have a few retirees. What we value most as a group is the willingness to dedicate time and money for the betterment of others. As a way to honor our values, our class is offering an award to a member of the class of 2023 who has demonstrated excellent service to school and community we, close, we chose to name this the Four Star General Service Award. This award is to celebrate the efforts of a student as he or she tries to make a difference. Also, while academic achievement is something a student can feel proud of, it was not a factor in this award. Neither was a plan to necessarily attend college. This is not a scholarship, but a recognition of the recipient trying to make the world a better place. This year's recipient has devoted many hours to sports such as tennis, basketball, track and field, and golf, as well as serving CHS as a member of Campus Life, National Honor Society, Student Government, and Spanish Club. On top of all that, he has dedicated many hours mentoring elementary and middle school basketball players through the Little Generals program. He has also helped the less fortunate both at school and in the wider community through his participation in Clarksville Cares and Exit Zero. On behalf of the class of 1982, I'd like to present this four-star general certificate and a check for $250 to Saul Tatum. Yeah, Saul.
I am very honored to be here representing Chuck Franz, who is the donor of these two scholarships. Chuck graduated in 1979, and not only did he excel in the classroom, but he also excelled in the sports arena. He was a quarterback, he was a pitcher, and he was a decent basketball player, which got him a scholarship to Indiana University. And sometime in the future, the gymnasium is going to be renamed the Chuck Franz Gymnasium. So he did pretty good in basketball. After he graduated from IU, he decided to do everything he could to help the school he loved. He loved Clarksville High School and everything about it. So in addition to many other things, he has funded two scholarships. Uh, the first one is for a male, and it's named the Eva Jo Franz Scholarship in honor of his mother, who not only followed him through his entire uh, sports career through high school and college, she also was a librarian aide at what was Green Acres School and then the middle school. And the recipient of the Eva Jo Franz Student Athlete Scholarship is Ethan Neal. For some reason, I think mainly because I was his mother's best friend and a teacher of his, and I followed Clarksville sports regularly and taught here, he named the second scholarship the Catherine Cheney Scholarship, and it goes to a female. And I'm very honored to present this scholarship to Jaden Taylor. <laughs> Hello, my name is Judy Tyler and I'm from the class of 1975 with Clarksville High School and I represent the Clarksville High School Alumni Association. And today we're giving four scholarships that total an uh, amount of $5,000. And the following graduates receiving these scholarships are Elisa Leisure, $500, Gabrielle Parrish, $1,000, Ethan Neal, $1,500, and Caleb Cummings, $2,000. <laughs> My name is April Halbert. I am your school board president. I am a member of the Clarksville Quantum Club for 20 plus years, and I'm also a Clarksville alumni of the class of 88. Kiwanis is a global organization of volunteers dedicated to changing the world, one child and one community at a time. As the proud sponsor of the Key Club at Clarksville High School, one of my favorite projects is attending this program each year to award these scholarships. Our selection criteria includes scholastic achievement, and service not only to the school, but service to the community in general. This year we have added a second scholarship for a student that attends Prosser. On behalf of the entire membership for the Qantas Club of Clarksville, I'm pleased to present a check for $1,500 to Ethan Neal, 
a check for $500 to Jesse Stevens. And I have a key club cord for Alyssa Leeser. Good morning. Uh, I'm Blake Adams with Central Credit Union. Uh, for many of our Central Credit Union members, further education is the next step on the way to achieving their dreams. That's why the Loretta M. Bird Scholarship Program was created. Named after Centra's former president and CEO, Loretta M. Bird, the scholarship program gives Centra and the Centra Foundation an opportunity to invest in our members' future. Each year, we award one $2,500 scholarship per Centra location to graduating high school seniors and adults over the age of 22 who are looking to further their education. Applicants are evaluated based on academic achievements, school and community involvement, and a written essay related to financial literacy. I'm honored to announce as recipient of the 2023 Loretta M. Bird Scholarship, Saul Tatum. Yeah. Good morning. The next scholarship is the Kelly Bryant Memorial Athletic Scholarship. Kelly was born in New Albany, Indiana, and was an administrative assistant to the superintendent at Clarksville Community School Corporation. She is a graduate of Clarksville High School, class of 1983, and was a member of our Alumni Association and Athletic Boosters. Her and her husband operated the grill that you see at the football games, and that grill is still under operation today and funds this scholarship. So in honor of Kelly, the Kelly Bryant Memorial Scholarship for this year is presented to, uh, in the amount of $500, Saul Tatum. Yeah, Saul. to listen to me for a little bit. I prefer to be behind the scenes, but you get to listen to me for a few minutes. Um, we have several community scholarships where the sponsor was unable to attend. The first one is the Clarksville Elementary PTO. This student must have attended CES, CMS, and CHS. And this one goes to Ethan Neal and Caleb Cummings. group and then we'll take a, a photo. The next one is a student must be planning to enter the field of education 
and this one is from the Clarksville Education Association, and this one goes to Jaden Taylor. The next one, the Optimist Club conducts, they conduct positive service projects aimed at providing a helping hand to youth. They believe in young people and empower them to be the best they can. And so the Clarksville Optimist Club provides two $2,000 scholarships. This goes to Sky Howie and Caden Owens. The next one, through past funding, we have the opportunity to offer two scholarships to help our graduating seniors. The Clarksville Higher Education Scholarships go to Ryan Bahena and Kevin Hernandez Ponce. Yeah. Yeah. So the PSAT National Merit Scholarship, this is based on the, a high PSAT score from the fall of 2022 and high academics. And the UPS is giving a scholarship called the UPS Foundation Scholarship, and this goes to Lucy Vaughn. Yeah. just received this one like a couple days ago. So the Indiana Commission for Higher Education has selected a student from our school to receive the Next Generation Hoosier Educator Scholarship. This scholarship requires recipients to rank in the top 20% of their high school graduating class or have a top 20% SAT score or have a minimum cumulative GPA of 3.5 out of a 4.0. And this is the Next Generation Hoosier Educator Scholarship and this goes to Jaden Taylor. I love to see my classmates win. Yes, sir, Keith. I'm forgetting when to go to Sir, class of 2022, baby. She's been hopping training. So the next few scholarships, we have students who have notified the guidance office that they will be receiving a scholarship from various sources. These students I do not have a certificate for, but I would like for you to come up and um, stand over here for a picture. So these students, as I call your name, just come forward. Savannah Appel will be receiving the trustee award at Barry University in Miami, Florida. Morgan Capps will be receiving a Franklin College Academic Scholarship. Woo! Caleb Cummings, he hasn't decided yet. He will either be receiving the University of Louisville Trustee Scholarship or the IU Bloomington Provost Scholarship. Deja Gaines will be receiving the Elgin Community College, College, Community College in Elgin, Illinois, the uh, Full Ride Athletic Scholarship. Yeah. Yeah. Alyssa Leeser will be receiving the Indiana University Provost Scholarship, 
and the Indiana University AR Met Scholarship. Amanda Martin will be receiving the IUS Grenadier Gold Scholarship. Gabrielle Parrish will be receiving the Hanover Founder Scholarship and the Hanover College Bicentennial Visit Award. And Lucy Bond will be receiving the IUS James E. Casey Scholarship and the IUS Grenadier Gold Scholarship. I'm Jill Sammons, a counselor here at Clarksville High School. Congratulations to the 2023 graduates and to their families who supported them. Prosser Career Education Center provided us with the following information. Please stand and be recognized. The National Technical Honor Society, sorry. The National Technical Honor Society promotes the ideals of honesty, service, leadership, and skill development among America's future workforce, rewards scholastic achievement and career in technical education, assists society members in the pursuit of career and educational goals, helps to build and maintain a stronger, more positive image for career and technical students, programs, and schools, and encourages the practice of high standards of personal and professional conduct and individual responsibility among the membership. The National Technical Honor Society members are Savannah Appel, Jay Drum, Kevin Hernandez Ponce, Jesse Stevens, and Presley Yates. Pride describes the fundamental expectations of students at Prosser Career Education Center. Four times a year, the teachers nominate and award students who have shown their pride, persistence, respectfulness, initiative, dependability, and efficiency. Prosser Pride Awards are McKenna Casey, Deja Gaines, Diego Sanchez, Jesse Stevens, and Carter Walls. The Skills USA organization allows students to demonstrate career and occupational skills through local, regional, and state and national competitions. Skills USA state medalists were Jesse Stevens, the silver, me silver medal emergency medical, and Carter Walls, the bronze medal for auto services tech. Yeah. Local recognitions include, when I call your name, please stand and be recognized. The Indiana Association of School Principals is proud to present the Rising Stars of Indiana Class of 2023. Each Indiana high school was invited to recognize up to four students while in the 11th grade. Based on their academic achievement, Rising Stars of Indiana were Alyssa Leeser, Amanda Martin, Ethan Neal, and Lucy Vaughn. The Indiana Association of School Principals Indiana Academic All-Stars program is proud to present the Indiana Academic All-Stars recognition to one senior. Nominees are based on criteria such as the number of advanced classes taken, standardized test scores, extracurricular activities, both academic and non-academic, leadership and community service involvement. The Indiana Academic All-Star for this year is Alyssa Leeser. Next Gen is a Southern Indiana Youth Leadership Program open to high school juniors in the Southern Indiana region. The program's objectives provide experiences for young leaders of our community to encourage their future success. 
Our next gen students for 2022 were Sky Howie, Ethan Neal, Harvey Page Barnett. The Youth Philanthropy Council project is designed to encourage youth to give and serve in their communities and to make philanthropy a habit for future generations. The council member this year was Alyssa Leeser. And we'd like to recognize the senior class officers this year. President was Alyssa Leeser. Vice President, Gabby Parrish. Secretary, Saul Tatum. Treasurer, Jay Drum. And at-large member, Nathan Neal. We'd also like to recognize the seniors who were students of the month. For August, Kenny Wyatt. September, Amanda Martin. October, Ryan Behenna. November, Elijah Garrison. December, Alyssa Leeser. January, Addison Hart. February, Casey Walls. March, Gabby Parrish. And April, Ethan Neal. Each year, the local Daughters of the American Revolution recognizes a senior student from each school. For us, that was Alyssa Leeser. We also have a Phi Beta Kappa Book Award nominated or awarded to a senior, and for this year is Amanda Martin. If you will come on up and receive your award. Yeah. Yeah. And lastly, for me at least, is uh, announcing the All A Honor Roll for first semester. Just stand for this one. Was Kaylee Bragdon, Paige Buckner, Kevin Hernandez Ponce, Alyssa Leeser, Ethan Neal, Saul Tatum, and Lucy Vaughn. And for this next one, this was the last semester of the school year, come up and receive an envelope is Paige Buckner, Caden Kuhn, Alyssa Leeser, Amanda Martin, Ethan Neal, and Mackenzie Reed. The next group we will honor is our National Honor Society members. These students earn the National Honor Society distinction by working hard throughout their high school career to maintain good grades in their coursework while also participating in co- and extracurricular activities and completing many community service hours. The following seniors will receive a blue National Honor Society stole to wear at graduation. Savannah Appel, Caleb Cummings, you guys can come ahead up, yeah. Jade Drum, Monica Franklin, Sky Howie, 
Alyssa Leeser, Amanda Martin, Ethan Neal, Harvey Page Barnett, Gabrielle Parrish, Jesse Stevens, Saul Tatum, Jaden Taylor, Lucy Vaughn, and Presley Yates. Congratulations. The next awards we have are the attendance awards. So we will award, um, we have two attendance categories, exemplary attendance and perfect attendance. And so exemplary attendance is a student who, are students who have missed seven periods or less and have 10 or less parties for the school year. We have one student for that award this year and it is Kevin Hernandez Ponce. Second award is perfect attendance, and these are for students who miss zero periods, you're here every day, every period, and have less than five tardies. And so the student that has earned that award is Gabby Parrish. And we also, Gabby is a 12-year perfect attendance. Yeah! Yeah! And so Gabby has requested uh, a new white Range Rover for that accomplishment. Unfortunately, we can't afford that. But we did uh, get her a white Lamborghini. So, if you have perfect attendance for 12 years, you do get a car. Yeah, Gabby! Okay, we now have we now recognize students earning diplomas with the designations of technical honors diploma, academic honors diploma, and both the technical and academic honors diploma. So we will start with the technical honors diploma. The Core 40 with technical honors emphasizes rigorous academic standards and expectations along with vital technical skills. This year's recipients are Savannah Appel, Ryan Bahanna, Jenna Basham. Jade Drum, Kevin Hernandez-Ponce, Summer Morgan,
Carly Nix, Mary Roberts, and Jesse Stevens. finish a picture and then I'll do the academic. Sorry, got ahead of myself. Academic Honors Diploma is designed to encourage and reward students who pursue the most rigorous advanced course of study during their four years of high school. This year's recipients are Caleb Cummings, hey. Michael Davis, Monica Franklin, Sky Howie, Alyssa Leeser, Amanda Martin, Ethan Neal, Hayden Owens, Harvey Page Barnett, Gabrielle Parrish, Kane Shelton, Saul Tatum, Jaden Taylor, and Lucy Bond. Students received the distinction of receiving both the Academic Honors Diploma and the Technical Honors Diploma. This year's recipients are Deja Gaines, Christy Massingale, Grady Sneed, Carter Walls, and Presley Yates. students who will receive either the academic honors, technical honors, diploma, or both. So 27 total, that's very good. Congratulations. Honor 
graduates are the top 10 and must be an academic honors diploma and or a technical honors diploma recipient. Each student will receive a black, gold, and white tassel along with gold cords. This year's top 10 are Ethan Neal, Alyssa Leeser, Amanda Martin, Lucy Vaughn, Kane Shelton, Caleb Cummings, Monica Franklin, Sky Howie, Jaden Taylor, and Presley Yates. For the CHS Governor's Work Ethics Certification, all student participants must demonstrate a minimum proficiency in the following nine competencies to earn the Governor's Work Ethics Certification. One, possess a cumulative GPA of 2.0 or higher and meet all graduation requirements. Two, attendance rate of 98% or higher. Three, one or fewer discipline referrals during the eligible school year. Four, minimum of six hours of school or community service during the eligible school year. And five, perseverance and problem solving. And finally, six, service to others, possess a positive attitude and strong communication skills. Oh gosh, I missed the other two. Seven, ability to be a self-starter and critical thinker. Eight, reliability, responsibility, and teamwork. And finally, nine, organization skills, importance of punctuality and self-management. So nine skills total. We have, recipients are Ryan Behenna, McKenna Casey, Kevin hernandez Ponce, Alyssa Leeser, Christy Massengill, Gabrielle Parrish, Jesse Stevens, Casey Walls, and Presley Yates. the honor of presenting 
presenting the salutatorian and valedictorian medals. So this year's salutatorian, number two in their class, Alyssa Leeser. <laughs> And this year's valedictorian of the graduating class of 2023 is Ethan Neal. Yeah. Thank you guys for attending, parents and families. We appreciate you coming and joining us this morning. And I know that, um, just know that we are as proud of your students and your kids as we, as we are as proud of them as you are. And we appreciate you loaning them to us every day for the last four years. Um, and we look forward to seeing all the good things that they're gonna do as they move into the world.